the confusion phase and intense and chronic stress. Once the target knows they are under surveillance, they will become very confused about what is happening to them. The specific reason why they are placed on a watch list is never explained or justified. The target may seriously consider that they are in danger of being kidnapped or assassinated, considering the amount of resources being devoted to stalking them. They will also wonder if they should go to the police or if this will make it worse due to most people reporting that they will try to refer the target to mental health services, rather than admit to gang stalking. They will also wonder if they should attempt to explain it slash prove it to the people around them, or if they will then just be accused of paranoia or delusion. They may also wonder if they should mount a legal challenge, and if so how they might go collecting the evidence necessary? In addition, the target will wonder why does the probability that someone is doing something wrong not diminish over time? Also, why, if they have tracking information, do they need to stalk that individual permanently? Initially, they will not be believed by people close to them and so the target will lack support from people close to them. These people are likely, instead, to believe that, due to the unlikely nature of being stalked so intensively by so many people, and the perceived strange and erratic behavior of the individual, that they may be suffering from paranoia or delusion, and may also think they are arrogant to think that so much resources would be dedicated towards stalking them. They may say things to the target such as, I hope you get the help you need. This lack of support may add to the stress.